Hi everybody, this is the piano tutorial for Small Memory by John Hopkins. Um, I hope you enjoy it. There is a small um, issue with the audio through this, I do apologise, there was an issue with the camera. However, for the most part, it's fine. Enjoy. So this song is in an A, B, A form, which means there's an A section, then there's a B section, which is different, and then it returns back to the A section, although that part's a little bit shorter. And this first part of the video is just the A section. So, looking at the piano, the very th first thing that he does is plays this with the left hand and this in the right hand. What I've got is an A flat and an A flat here, so the outer note of my left hand is playing A flats, and then there's an E flat here. At the same time, in the right hand, there's some E flat notes. So it's E flat, E flat, which are the two um, higher notes um, out of these black keys. So that's the first thing that you play. He's quite prominent with that, so make sure that that's a little bit louder. Now, we run into a problem straight away, at least you do if you have my size hands. I have slightly smaller hands. Um, what he does on the next part, he plays and this note here. I can just get to there, but I can't do it in a practical way. That is F, C and an A flat. Now, I would play that with my right hand. However, the right hand is playing C octaves and I just can't get there. So for me, I'm going to have to leave out that A flat. If you've got bigger hands than me, get that note because it's a really good note to have but you can do that. Now that still sounds fine, so that's um, F, C, and then two C notes here in the right hand. Still sounds good, but if you can get that A flat in, great. If not, what I do, and what you'll have seen at the start of the video, I just took the A flat from here and put it down here. So I've got F, A flat, C, and it gives you just about the same sound. If I had bigger hands, I'd go for that. So the first mini section we have You see there, I got that A flat in. It gives just about the same sound. Now the next part, you go down in your left hand to a D flat and an A flat. You're gonna play that together. Whilst um, at the same time, there's an A flat and D flat, so you're kind of mimicking the same thing. Now again, with his really big hands, he goes to an F note down here with that. Now, oh, I can't reach that very well, um, so I leave out that F. Um, I can't find a good alternative because I think it sounds a bit muddy if we add it in down here. So, um, I just copy that for now. And again, it sounds as close to the track as I can. If only I could reach it before. So, those three parts up to now go like this. But directly after that, he has three very quiet A flats. For example, I'll put that all together. So keep that nice and like that A flat. So the next part of the A section, we have, um, again, another really high part. It's back to the F, C and A flat. Uh, I'm just gonna copy that. Um, but in the right hand, we have some C octaves and you stay on this C, but this note is going to run down some extra notes. That's just C, B flat, A flat. Then we go up to this pattern that we've seen before, which is the A flat, E flat, A flat. And at the same time with the right hand, you've got C and E flat, which resolves up to an F. So you have E flat up to F. And then we go back down to this part. three more. So let's just go over that first part of this section again. I'll go nice and slow. almost in, in view, I added an extra note there, that's an F note, just above the E flats that I played earlier, it's, it's just there, that's an F note. And that's going to lead us back in to the exact same thing. So the only thing that changes for this one is that you'll occasionally add in that A flat. You know when you're playing that nice and gentle? He puts that in between some of the, the other parts. So you've played that first line that I've just demonstrated. And now we go into the next pattern. I'll play that even slower, but watch out for this A flat note. It just fits in every so often. 
for, us, for example. So the first time round, you didn't have as many A flats in, and then on the second time round, there were a few just scattered in between, mainly that first part. A flat, A flat, A flat, and that's the three times around. Moving on to the B section, which is just the next part that sounds a little bit different. Um, we start off with a low note, in fact two notes, you've got a B flat here, which is at uh, the top of the three back keys, it's slightly off camera, this is what it looks like an octave higher, but yeah that's a B flat down there, with an F note here. Whilst at the same time, your right hand, bit of a stretch but more manageable this time, D flat, F, D flat. So you've got this, and then an F note. And I'm just releasing that, I'm using my sustain pedal with my right leg, just to keep that sound going. Then, at the same time as my right hand playing some A flat notes, I'm playing this shape here which is the shape we've seen a few times already now, F, C and F there. Now that's really where he's playing the A flat, but hey ho, I'm just gonna play the F. So that little part together goes like this. And then the left hand moves up to this shape here, again seen it before, A flat, E flat, A flat, whilst right hand plays a C and an E flat with two A flats at the bottom. So putting those parts together, we get this. The next part of the, the B section, we have this in the left hand. Again, D flat and A flat, we've seen that before. However, at the same time, right hand has an F, A flat, and an F at the top. And we have and then an A flat straight after. Followed by, you've got C octaves in the right hand, whilst at the same time left hand is playing this. I'll just break that down, left hand, F, C, F. Again, really, he's going for the A flat. Um, and then straight after, he is playing two A flats, which is that A flat. So I'm not going to, on this time, play that A flat like you saw me earlier. So, um, just that part again, we have... Oh, there's that high note again that we put in before, that's the um, F natural. So the next part of the B section goes like this. So breaking that down, again we have this high part, which is the A flat, E flat, and then A flat on top. Um, however, he's got E flats, and then a C note. You can play, see I'm playing it there, so I've got. Then, slightly different left hand part, F, B flat, whilst at the same time you have A flat, octaves, and a C in the middle. You just bring on that a little bit more, so we get. resolves nicely down to this which is F, F um, octaves and then in A flat in the middle with that in between. So the final part of the B section sounds like this. First part is B flat and F. We have D flat, F, and a B flat, but then there's a melody straight after. D flat, F. So the left hand then moves up to this shape, F, C, F, with A flat. We then have, oh, that's a, an F note after that, sorry. Then it moves up to this shape, again, see that one before. That's a C and E followed by an F note. And then
then the last part, that's just an F note down here, D flat here and A flat there, followed by two A flats. So just putting that all together we get, and this is very very slow this part, Finally, after that part, John just repeats the A section again, but just the first part of it. And then that's the end. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you really enjoyed it, please like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a comment below if you want to see another tutorial, I could make one for you. Uh, there is a Reddit thread uh, for this video, there's a discussion going on, uh, so there'll be links in the description for that. Finally, if you'd like to support me, um, I have a buy me a coffee link and there's a Patreon link as well. Thank you very much for watching.